In this video, I'm going to prove that BPT theorem, that is basic proportionality theorem, also known as Thales theorem. Now, in this question, uh, we have some <clears throat> given information and the given thing that you'll be writing that in triangle ABC, we are given D is parallel to BC. This is what uh, you'll write as a given. And then in two proof, we have to prove that this is AD over BD is equal to AE over BC. And that is the two proof part. So in order to prove this, we have a construction. In the construction part, you'll be drawing DM perpendicular AE and EN perpendicular AD. Further, you'll also be joining BE and DE. That's the part of the construction. In order to prove this theorem, we are going to use uh, these two property, that is formula, that number one is the area of a triangle is half base into height, and the other that is uh, two triangles on the same base and between same parallels are equal in area. So let's begin with the, the proof part. In the proof part, first we are going to keep, uh, keep the ratio of, take the ratio of areas of two triangles. Now the triangles which I'm considering in the first part is one is this triangle that is EDE and the other triangle which I'm considering is this shaded pink that is that is DBE and I'm obtaining the ratio of these two triangles. So this is AR stands for the area triangle ADE over area triangle BDE. Now we know that uh, area of a triangle is half base into height. So for the above one, the area is half into base. Clearly the base is AD in this case and perpendicular is EN. So that is half into AD into EN. And for the other triangle, for the other triangle, the base will be BD base is going to be BD, well, altitude remain the same. As you know that altitude may lie outside the triangle, as in case of, you see, the altitude here lies outside the triangle. So we are going to take the base, as I said, is BD, well, the altitude remains as EN. So from here, we can cancel this EN, EN, and half and half. So we got this ratio as AD over BD. That is equation one. Now next, we are going to consider two triangle again. Let's say the first being the same and the second triangle this time I'm considering as this one. Now, in these two triangle, again, we are going to obtain the ratio here. And the ratio I'm obtaining is, this is equation one, this time area triangle, ADE over area triangle, this is uh, DEC. Now we'll be applying same half base into height. So this is half base for this triangle will be AE and the altitude drawn here will be DM. So you can see for the first triangle, this is going to be the altitude and this being the base. So it's half into base, which is AE and altitude is AM. For the triangle below, the base this time will be EC, EC being the base here, and altitude remains the same. As I said, the altitude may lie outside the triangle. So this is, let me once again show you properly. The base here is uh, AE and the altitude is DM, right? I wrote AM plus DM. And for the other triangle, the base is this, and altitude remains same. That is, uh, this is DM again. 
So here this DM and DM get canceled. Half and half get canceled. So we got this ratio as E over EC. Now I'm marking this equation too. Now what you can observe that uh, we have to prove these two equal, which is will be equal provided we prove their left hand side as equal. So when you observe carefully, you'll see that we have the same numerator here, but the denominators are not same. That is what we are going to equate in the third equation. In the third equation, that means, let's observe the figure here. What you can observe that this triangle and this triangle, they are on the same base and also between the same parallels. You can observe that they are on the same base, say DC, DC being the same base and also between the same parallels. So we can write their areas as equal. That means area triangle DEC is equal to area triangle PDE. So what you can see here that in the third part, we have proved these areas as equal. Well, the above is already same. So we can say from one, two, and three. We're writing the first final part, that is, from 1, 2, and 3, from 1, 2, and 3, we can write AD over BD is equal to AE over EC. And that's how we prove this theorem.